obviously the Super Bowl is brand new to him, but he did play in the AFC Championship last year, and they fell short through the Patriots. So you know this man is hungry. You know he's determined. You can tell by the way he's been playing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and, and they should have won that game. You know, one, you know, defensive penalty of Chris Jones, and I, you know, I'm not putting it all on him. But, you know, I mean, they had the game won, right? Like, they should have been in the Super Bowl last year. So, yeah, I'm with you. Like, it goes to show, you know, his hunger, his attitude, his team, you know, everything they're about. And, and I'll say this, man. Um, I talked to a friend of mine who, uh, who played in the league for a long time, a guy named Blaine Bishop, who's a safety with the Titans. Uh, he played with the Eagles as well. And I was talking about Andy Reid. And I was like, you know, wh- like, you know, what is this guy about? Like, I, I haven't, you know, met him and, and, and spoken with Andy Reid, you know, for any extended period of time. But he seems like a great dude. And that's exactly what Blaine said. He was like, man, he was like, this guy is fantastic. Like, I hope he gets the Super Bowl ring. And he's like, nothing against 49ers at all. He's like, you know, whoever wins, wins, and I'll be happy for him. He was like, but, you know, there's a reason why exactly what you just laid out of why this team is so cohesive and why they're such a unit. Andy Reid has a lot to do with that. He's just a good dude that builds a great culture. Um, and, uh, and the Chiefs are taking that and rambling. Exactly. And then I had a question for you. So where do you think – where do you think for both teams, where do you think the weakness is located in both teams? Yeah, that's a, that's an excellent question because, you know, both of these teams don't really have, you know, much of a weakness. I, I would say this, you know, for the Chiefs, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be their defensive line. Um, it's going to be, yeah, and, and, and again, understand, I'm, I'm not saying that they're, you know, weak by any means, but, but the problem is that the Chiefs, or is that the 49ers, their the rushing attack is aggressive and it's smart. Uh, and they create holes. And, and, and if the 49ers are running the ball and moving the ball, it's gonna, you know, it, it's gonna limit, you know, what the defense can do in, in getting after Jimmy Garoppolo, forcing him, you know, to throw, you know, maybe some, you know, a pick or two, a, a fumble, which he's, you know, shown this year. Um, and that's why, really, why they've been winning because, you know, the 49ers, the, the more that they run the ball, uh, they just limit risk. Really, is is what it's about, right? And then you flip it on the other side. Um, and I'm going to put it on the defensive line as well um, because, you know, obviously the 49ers can get after your quarterback and put pressure, but Mahomes is a different cat, man. Like, you know, you, you can't just get pressure like they did on Aaron Rodgers and force him to throw. Patrick Mahomes will run around you, right? And, and, and exactly. where that plays into is that not only can Mahomes run, but Mahomes can throw dimes on the run. And if you have – you know, I don't care who your secondary is. Like, if you have to guard Tyree Kill, Kelsey, McCole Hardeman – uh, Watkins, you know, an extra two, three, four seconds, so it's almost impossible. And he knows exactly where those guys are going to go. And like you said earlier, that's where Tyree Hill can take a 17-yard pass, 81 yards, and house it on you quick because, you you, you know, your guys are just spaced out and they're tired. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put it on defense on both teams. Exactly. And plus, I, I noticed that the Chiefs have had a slow start in both the AFC Championship and the Divisional I mean, it, when you saw them go against the Texans, I mean, that was a, definitely a slow start for them. And then the way the, the, the speed on how they were able to just come back and then take the lead was just insane. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. No, besides, it, it wasn't. Besides the Patriots, yeah. besides the Patriots and the Falcons, but that was a, a total different story. I no, you're right. I mean, it, it has been insane, right, uh, them being able to come back. And I'll give you a stat. Think about this. The Chiefs' last three playoff games against the Titans, against the Texans, and then last year in the AFC Championship against the Patriots. Those three games, their last three playoff games, they have started down 48 to nothing. 48 to nothing. Oh, my And they goodness. came back, should have won the AFC Championship last year, and obviously they won both playoff games this year. Like, I mean, they were down 24 nothing to the Texans. They were down 10 nothing uh, to the Titans, and they were down, uh, what, uh, 34, yeah, 14 nothing uh, to the Patriots, right? Like, they've had slow starts, but they can come back. Mahomes has shown and proved that he can do it. However, Dude, this 49ers team is different, bro. Like, do not let them get up. We saw it, you know, two weeks ago in the NFC Championship. I mean, it's Aaron Rodgers back there. And he, he, was, he was done. He was cooked. There's nothing that he could do. The 49ers are that good, and they're that physical and aggressive. Yeah, like, you get down enough, man. It's like, you know, if you, it's, it's like delaying paying some of your bills. And, you know, you get your paycheck, you know, on Thursday or Friday or whatever. You know, and you look and you're like, I, 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 I can't pay all these. Like, I, I shouldn't have waited this long on all of them. Like, that's what the 49ers can do to you, man, because they just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, uh, and they just they, they get stronger as the game goes. So, Chiefs, don't get down too much. Yeah, exactly. That's, that was my biggest fear. Like, I don't want them to start off slow because the 49ers, they can definitely, once they're up and running, man, it's going to be hard to come back on that. But uh, do you have any, any last-minute thoughts you'd like to provide? 
Well, I'll say this. I think we're going to have a phenomenal Super Bowl. I think it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be a close game. I think we're going to see the best of both teams. Um, I'm, I'm taking the 49ers to win in a tight one. Uh, but if not, Patrick Mahomes has the ball, you know, with two, three minutes left in the game, driving in the fourth quarter, shoot. I am never going against that guy. That dude's a winner. So, I think he'd rather go. Yeah, I say, I say, Chiefs, if they don't start off slow, I feel like they can win this game. If they start off slow, I don't know. It looks like the 49ers might have the edge on them, but we'll, we'll see. I think it's either way, I think it's going to be a close game between the two. Yep, I agree with you, man. But uh, Honestly, it was it, like once again, it was a pleasure or an honor to have you on the show, Alan. Man, it means a lot, and I would like to have you on multiple times in the near future. I, I, I'm on any time that you will uh, you'll have me, man. I appreciate you, buddy. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Alan Bell. Again, he's a contributor off of CBS Sports Line. It was a lot of fun, and I have another episode coming up very soon, much sooner than you think. So stay tuned for that. And I'll be starting entertainment real soon. I know I promised you guys this at the beginning of my pocket so for for you all you avid listeners out there that have been listening since may 31st yeah it's coming it's coming so it'll be here a lot sooner than you think so just watch out for some entertainment where it's entertainment uh youtube pranksters uh comedians anything you can think of i'll be interviewing all of them everybody not just sports people but like you know i just wanted to make sure i got all my sports episodes in and it doesn't mean that the sports episodes are, are going to be disappearing i'm still going to be doing sports that's my groundwork right there that's not going away. I'm just going to add some other stuff in there for uh, other people who are not really into sports. They can listen. They can, you know, chime in and listen to some other stuff that they're interested in, like whether it's entertainment, pop culture, music, any of that good stuff. Yeah. So whenever I drop those episodes, for those that, that are only interested strictly in those categories, feel free to listen. And besides that, I just want to say thanks for listening again, and I'll see you guys for episode 44. Yeah, I lost track of the episodes. Yeah, it'll be 44. All right, peace out.